Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my shop, my stash for the week. I'm going to share with you guys the products I used last week and what I thought of them. And yeah, we're going to pick new products to use for the week. And I'm desperately wanting to use some new foundations. I want something more on the not so heavy side. So yeah, I'm excited to pick new products to use this week. I am filming this on Friday. Usually I film these on Thursdays and I feel like I'm like hurry, hurry, hurry because I need to upload the footage, edit, and then have it up for tomorrow, Saturday. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in into this Shop My Stash. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And I do want to mention that I do have an international holiday giveaway. So if you guys are interested in entering that, I will link it down below. And I think that is awesome. If you guys want to see the products I used last week and what I thought of them and pick new products to use for the week, then just continue watching. So the first items that were in my stash this week were these two. And this first one is the Smashbox Photo Finish So Chill Coconut Primer Water. And I really have been enjoying primer waters to prime my face. And I just really been enjoying them. And I ordered the new Wet n Wild primer sprays. Also, I ordered all three. They were $4.99, so very affordable. But we are going to put this away and pick something new to use this week. And then I also did use this. This is the Urban Decay uh, B6 Vitamin Infused Complex Prep and Spray. And this is almost out. I think I have one, maybe one more use in here. But I'm going to leave this in here. But we are going to pick a new primer to use for the week. And this is good to set the makeup as well. Um, it does have a really nice coconut scent. So it was nice to prime and also set again. And then in this first store here... So I went ahead and swatched all the lippies I had this week and I also turned on my little light there um, just because I felt like it wasn't showing the true colors of the lippies. So this first one is the Too Faced Gingerbread Girl Matte Lipstick. This is stunning, a beautiful fall color. Um, this one is the LA Colors Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Danger. This is the Maybelline Lipstick in the shade X. Espresso Exposed. I really enjoyed this lipstick and I kind of just blotted it on my lips also when I didn't want something super opaque and it was really nice. And then this last one is the Pop Beauty Matte Permanent Pout in Sweet Harmony. This was a collab with this A1 De La Torre um, girl here on YouTube. I only used this once guys and it was pretty comfortable and, but I like the color. The formula seemed good. Um, I don't... I had... Um, my chapstick on under this so I don't know if it didn't dry completely and it didn't really last on my lips either so I think I'm going to pick another color to use for the week like from these and go from there and try out the formula a little more um, for mascara I had these two this is the Essence Violet Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara this is drying out I believe but it's making my lashes super super clumpy so I think I'm just going to declutter this just because I like clumpy lashes, but this is like extra clumpy, so I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this. This other mascara is the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, and I've really been enjoying the mascara. I just don't like how small this is. I don't know, my nails are just too like bigger than the freaking wand. <laughs> Seriously, right? But um, I think I'm going to leave this in here another week. I'm going to pick another mascara, but I'm going to leave this in here. I think it's almost out. That's the reason why I want to leave it in here. And then the next thing I have in here is this Arden Cian Monster Smooth Rice Supercharged Eyeliner. And this is just in the shade Lemon. And it's a really pretty yellow color. I really enjoy this. I used it a few times. But yeah, we're going to put that away. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. This is very, very dark. And it's really long lasting as well. So we will be putting that away. And then this liner, the NYX Epic Ink Liner, is really nice as well. And it's just really nice and opaque and smooth. This reminds me of the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I would recommend you guys um, picking this up if you're looking for something more affordable. And also you need to be careful because it can get a little crazy with your wing with this just because it's so smooth. But I do like it. And then this is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. This is the Never Ending Brow Pencil, you guys. Look, I still have this much left. So again, it's going to stay in another week. I want to just finish this up and declutter it for my collection and yeah the next items that are in here are foundations and these are the ColourPop no filter foundations this looks really good on the skin right now on myself it looked uh pretty much full coverage you can tell you're wearing foundation with this after like the five hour mark it kind of does look heavy and i do find that it kind of rubs off of my nose i noticed that that it was like mostly gone like half the day and 
like I rub my nose a lot especially right now that it's cold you know and sometimes you get a little bit of water coming from your nose <laughs> yeah it was just like coming off my nose I do want to say that I do like this foundation in the winter time better than in the summertime because in the summer this foundation looked hella heavy very luminous as well and the perfect finish right now during winter time so I do like these and then I also did really enjoy this NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. Um, I don't think NYC is available anymore. I'm not sure, but this is super, super good. Definitely notice my skin looks smooth. I remember somebody saying this was a dupe to the Laura Mercier, but I don't think you can find NYC products anymore. Have you guys seen them? Where have you seen them at? But I really like that powder. Another product that I really enjoyed was this Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Light. This is so good. This is one of the best drugstore concealers that I have ever tried. Like, honestly, it's so good. Full coverage. It's really, really nice. Like, I really enjoy this. If you guys haven't tried this out, definitely try it out. Um, I also did use this Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. Um, it's supposed to smooth away your pores. And it definitely does do that. I do like this primer a lot. I think it does a really good job with my pores. And again, I will be picking something different to use this week. And this is the Photo Focus Face Primer. And I think I'll use this once again. But I'm just going to put this away and pick a new primer to use for the week. And then again, my sunscreen that I did not use at all this week. And thank you for the one that commented on my video saying you're supposed to wear sunscreen 24-7, not just the summertime. Because I don't know that I asked and you responded to that. I did not use it this past week. So I'm slacking on my sunscreen. Um, this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow in the shade Tan. It's a powder highlighter i do find that it's kind of like i thought it was more like bronzy like for bronzing but i tried to bronze and it's not like a luminous bronzer obviously because it says it's a highlighter it's like on the tad side of being too dark as highlighter for me but i do like how it looks it does look very very nice and let me show you guys like a swatch that's what it looks like you used to this lighting again you guys since the time change like the sun is down by the time I'm able to film these videos and the lighting's just horrible but we're gonna do what we can um this is the Laura Mercier highlight matte radiance baked powder and I really enjoyed this highlight it was really nice and we did use this more than we did last week so I'm gonna go ahead and put that away and pick something else. And this is another NYC product. This is the Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. And this is what that looks like. I really enjoy this powder. I feel like it's like really the nice, like in between color of like bronzing and contouring. I don't know, it's really nice. It's not too warm or too cool. I really like this bronzer and we will be picking something else. Another highlighter that was good this week was by Anastasia Beverly Hills Taze and Resi. And this is the highlight right there. So beautiful. Like, it's like the prettiest gold highlight. And yeah, that's where that is. And very, very beautiful. But we are going to pick a new highlight to use. And the last two things that are in here are palettes. I did use the Dream Street, kind of. <laughs> I've been focusing on my project pan items because I have one more month left and then that is it and I have to fill my finale. I actually need to fill my project pan roulette tomorrow too and I have not been doing very well in that one. But anyways, these are stunning. I love ColourPop formula. This is one of my favorite um, ColourPop uh, color schemes in the palette. Um, one that's a really nice one is the Good Sport one. I really love the color scheme in that one. But um, we are going to put this away and pick a new palette to use this week. And then the other palette I did use on my eyes today is this one by Koki Cosmetics. And it's the Artist Palette in Treasure. And here's what that looks like. I think this is a really nice palette for the drugstore. But I do find that it's kind of more on the dry side. It's a pretty nice palette. And it's pretty pigmented as well. Um, I just, I don't know. It's really nice though. Look, like the shades are really pretty. Um, I would recommend this. I have this one and also the um, Peachy Keen one. It's like the peach tones. It's supposed to be a dupe to the Too Faced one, I believe. The uh, Peach Perfect one. I don't know. The one that has like nine colors in it or something i don't know but anyways we are gonna pick a new palette to use i'm, I'm gonna be picking a lot of new products because i'm gonna film a get ready with me trying new products out tomorrow and i want to just keep testing them out and like giving you guys more thoughts on the trying new products 
in my next shop my stash but yeah this is all that i have here from last week we are gonna go ahead and shop my stash and pick new products to use for the next week okay so we're in my filming slash makeup room slash junk room at the moment we are rearranging stuff and this room is a little upside down right now look like this stuff is on my desk it's it's a little wild Ooh, talking about desk i do need to grab my little cart here and take this out <laughs> okay i need to organize in here it's a little wild again i was telling you guys that i'm going to film a trying new products video tomorrow so we're going to go ahead and use this this is the mac fix plus matte spray so we're going to use that this week and then we're also going to take this this is the makeup revolution face quad in incandescent let me open this to show you guys what it looks like. It's the lighter one of the two that they do have. So we'll have plenty of highlighting options this week. And we'll also be testing this out for tomorrow in our video. I actually don't know what all I'm going to use. I actually want this palette as well to try out with the palette that I want to pick. This is the Makeup Revolution Neutrals 3 palette. So lots of red tones and purples and pretty fallish type colors. So we'll be also taking this palette. And then what else are we going to do? Oh, I want to use this powder tomorrow for my video. This is the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. It says for lighter skin. I got the shade 01 Natural. I've heard super good things about this bronzer. So I want to go ahead and try this as well for the week and also for the video again. Oh, look, I have a new concealer here. We can try this out. This is a Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This is in the shade Light Beige, I believe. Just a 020, but I think it's Light Beige. So we'll also be taking this. I want to use this, but I've been focusing on my Project Pan palette because I really want to hit pan on the last shade that I said from my update that I was going to hit pan on. And this palette is gorgeous as well. Maybe I should pick this palette instead to have more options. Look how pretty this is. This is the Afreak palette by Juvia's Place. Maybe we'll pick this next week. Maybe just to use for the week. I don't know if I'll use this tomorrow or not, but this is the NYX Slip Tease full color lip oil and this is in the shade bang bang so i'll just take this to use for the week i don't know if i'll use it in my video tomorrow but we'll take that oh i have this this is the maybelline blur stick pore minimizing in light medium i heard really good things about this so i haven't used it again so i'm gonna put this oh this is the becca velvet blurring primer maybe i can use this as well um yeah we'll use this for primer Gotta use some of this new stuff I got in here. I can't just be storing it just for decoration. So I ended up opening this Kevin Aquan Neo Highlighter up because I couldn't remember what it looks like. And it's just a highlighter, so I'm not going to use this for the week because we do have that Makeup Revolution one um, to try out. I wonder if I should try this out. This is kind of like not an everyday type of mascara, you know what I mean? Since this is a deep burgundy color i think it would be pretty for like lower lashes but like for every day maybe i can retry it out i don't know again if i'll use this in my video but we'll take that for the week as well i do want to take this i've had this for the longest time and i haven't even used it i'm going to put it in my video again this is a jouet blush bouquet in adore this is like the one that's always sold out when I got this, I was like, look how big the box is, but actually look how big the palette is. Like, the box is so big. <laughs> and here is what the inside looks like. It's just a beautiful, like, peachy tone blushes. And I think this is just kind of like a luminous blush. But yeah, we'll be taking this to use this week. Are really good things about this concealer. Um, I heard it's really, really nice. But I do have that... Patrice concealer to try so I don't need this. I think that's all we're taking in here. So for the palette that I want to try out for my video is this one by Pat McGrath. I haven't used this since I got it and it's just chilling on my computer desk since I got it. I haven't swatched it or nothing. This is the bronze seduction palette I believe. This is the limited edition packaging as well. I got it off the um, Pat McGrath site. How beautiful is this palette, you guys? Look how pretty this is. 
gorgeous gorgeous palette so yeah we're gonna take this palette to use for the week after I test it out tomorrow in my trying new products video oh I just remembered I had the big blush book from last week I did use that it's so pigmented and I've really been enjoying it I was telling you guys last week that I wanted to get that little tart lip book blush book that it, it has like 10 highlighters in it because it's not as bulky as this one is and i was thinking about decluttering this and some of you guys told me to put it in like a z palette but i'm not really into depotting stuff out of their original packaging i don't know i just like to keep stuff in their original packaging but that blush book or this blush book is very very nice very very pigmented a little bit goes a long way i forgot to mention that when i was sharing with you guys the products i used um last week but this is really good. I've really been enjoying it. So I think I'm just going to keep it and use it since I already have it. This um, blush thing, I, I don't like how big it is, but I'm willing to keep it a little longer. Just remember that I have these two new products to use to test out as well. This is the Joa Beauty Truly Yours Natural Finish Drop Foundation. This is in the shade Natural Beige. I haven't tested this out. I've heard it's so, so good. So again, I'm going to be using this in my trying new videos. And I'm going to be testing it out for the rest of the week. And then I'm also going to take this Joa Beauty Self Ready Setting Powder in Banana. And it's really, really yellow, so I hope it works out for me, but we will see on this as well. I think I'm going to pick another foundation. I don't know, just to have two foundations. So we're up here. So I was telling you guys that we're rearranging in here. These were actually Alex drawers. My husband actually had Alex drawers, and I have the cheap Michael drawers. They're not cheap. They're actually really good, but I don't got the OG stuff. But he did let me have these drawers rearrange my stuff my makeup and rearrange all my stuff and he was gonna keep the bottom ones for his um stuff but yeah he let me have from here up so we'll be needing to rearrange some stuff here soon i don't have anything in them again this room is upside down if you guys see how messy this room is you would have a heart attack <laughs> so actually i think i want to use the here this is the lancome tentito ultra 24 hour foundation this is in the shade 270 bisque w so we're going to take this and then we do need a primer spray i'm going to take this one right here this is the wet and wild primer water spray so we'll take this for primer spray and in here we're going to take this mascara right here the revlon ultra volume mascara um maybe i can use this for tomorrow too since it's new and i don't need brows and i don't need concealers so we'll go to the next drawer right here primers we actually don't need any primers this one is powder drawer i believe i don't think we need anything oh i don't know because i'm using that and that's banana oh that's gonna be hard <laughs> Um, I need something for my under eyes. I don't know. I don't know how well this powder is going to work out. Have you guys tried that powder yet? Ew, I don't know. I guess I'll wait. Well, let's just pick this. This is the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. So I'll use this for my under eyes just in case that is too yellow. And then down here I have bronzer. And I have that new bronzer, so we don't need bronzer. This one is blush. I have that um, Jouer blush, actually. I don't know if I should pick another blush just to have another blush. What should I pick? What do I got? Laura Geller. Maybe we can pick this. More natural. This is the Milani blush powder blush in Romantic Rose. So we'll be taking this. This is a wearable color there. So that's all we'll use there. In here, I have highlight. Oh, we don't need highlight. We got that palette. Liner. We need liner. I do have a new liner in my new liner drawer, actually. It's by Tarte. Maybe I should use that. I think I want to move my liner drawer to one of these drawers over here. Just because, again, I told you guys last time that I wanted to move my, like, colored liners on my black liners. Because these are all, like, liquid liners. Oh my gosh, you guys saw some of my junk. Well, actually, those two boxes are from the giveaway boxes. All this stuff was actually right here. And it's all under my desk now. I need to, again, rearrange. I think I'm going to put these under my bed just so they're not in here. This box is actually is full of giveaway stuff that I can give away to you guys. I was thinking about doing a giveaway in my Shop My Stash video. So stay tuned for those videos because I might have like random giveaways in my videos. Just want to let you guys know. Maybe next time. I'm not going to do giveaways in all my Shop My Stash videos. But randomly I will have a random giveaway 
And that is like PR that I unboxed from the other week I'm talking about. I do need to pick a Pop Beauty lippy. Guys, I am all over the freaking place. This color looks pretty. I think I'm going to take this. This is the Permanent Pout in Z by Pop Beauty. And then this beauty influencer, he created this color. And it looks really pretty. So I'm going to take this too to test the formula again and see what I think about it. And I think I'm going to put some of these in giveaways too just because... I don't really use like these pink colors and I don't know, just kind of sharing is caring. So. Back to liners, just getting side cuts. Actually, I'm going to take this blue one over here. This is the Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Liner in the shade Deep Blue. So we'll be taking that. And I'm going to grab that Tarte Liquid Liner to use for tomorrow. So I'm going to pick this one liner too. This is the Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Crash. I have so many of these 24-7 uh, pencils because I purchased a lot of them when they were on sale for like half price, $10. And I was like, heck yeah, these are $20 liners. So I definitely stocked up when they were on sale a while ago, but a lot of them are drying out. So we are going to take this one. This is like a purpley color. And here's glitters. I don't want glitter. I actually have a glitter in my roulette pan and I have touched it maybe once we don't need um lipstick and then this is highlight ish drawer you don't need highlighter but i do want to use this sometime in the near future i haven't used this in a while and maybe we'll pick it for next week so this is what my cart is looking like i was gonna put all this stuff in my acrylic drawer for in the restroom but i remembered that I'm going to film my trying new products video tomorrow so i'm just gonna leave this in here like this because again i'm gonna put all this stuff in my acrylic case and then bring it back tomorrow so I think I just rather just leave it in here and not have to bring it back in here tomorrow so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please also subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you all in my next video bye